Welcome to the Spinning Planet E107 video tutorials. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you the basics of the Spinning Planet web shop. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to log into the admin section of your website. This is the front page of the admin section. I'm now going to go into installed plugins SP web shop. Now this will take you to the dashboard of the web shop where it shows you the um, overview of uh, what the shopping system is doing. So you'll see that there's a total total amount for the store and you'll see that there are um, active categories and active products and also pending orders, paid orders and complete orders. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a category and add a product and then we're going to have a look at how you manage your orders. So on the right hand side you'll see that there's categories and products. We want to click on that. And you'll see that there's some previously set up categories here and we want to click on add new category so we give the category a name and you can assign your categories under other categories in the website or in the shopping system so you can see that there's paintings, jewellery, sculpture etc we want to keep it as a main category so we want to select none you can see that there's a display order so you can order these in a particular order and we just do that by selecting a number here you can assign a image for the category and we're just going to quickly select an image that'll bring up a pop-up browse and select an image click upload and we wanted to grab it and select an area of that image to create the thumbnail and click save and click done okay and we can give the category a description Okay, we want to make sure that that's active. You can set up categories and keep them inactive so that you can later on add products and nobody sees it on the front, front end of the website. We want to click submit. So we've just added a new main category called video tutorial categories. All right, and now we want to add a product to that category. So we don't need to go anywhere else, we just need to stay here and click add new product. And that will change the fields below. And we want to add product, video tutorial product, now the price. Okay, And there's a special price, so if you pop something in here it'll um, adjust the price in the front to look like it's on sale and we'll just have a quick look at some previously ones uh, saved ones here so you'll see that that's the normal price and now it's on sale and you can do that by putting in a sales price here so we might want to say that that's $33 now this could be the shipping price and the handling price so say you want to charge $15 for shipping and handling and we can also say how many stock are in hand, so we're just going to say 100. And then we also want to add an image to our product. So we click on add image and it will pop up a window. We go browse on the desktop or your computer for an image. And click upload. Now we want to make a selection for the thumbnail. This is not the main image, it's just a smaller image when you click on it it'll pop up that larger image so 
we just make a selection of that of that image and click save thumbnail and click done and that will reload and display that and then you can add a description if you like okay you can um, have it only display the thumbnails and not have it pop up the large image and you can do that by clicking on the display thumbnail only you can also order your products by selecting a number in this drop down field here now with assigning your product to a category you can do this by tagging the product into certain categories so you select what category you'd like it to be in by clicking on it and then clicking enable and this is saves having to create this product multiple times in different categories we can just automatically assign it into certain areas we're just going to add a description okay and we want to make sure that's active as well so we can keep it inactive if we want to make alterations to it we want it to be active I want to click submit so now I have added a product to a category that we've just created and you can also see that it is under paintings and artists okay and if we go and have a look at that on the front page you'll see that there's the category that I've created now if I click on that there's the product that I created that's on sale for $33 we click in there and we can see the title, the sale and the description and also the quantities. If we click on that it will open up a larger version of it. Okay, So that's how you add a category and a product to your, to your shop. Okay and now we want to have a look at our orders. So on the right hand side in the admin section we want to click on orders on the right hand side here and this will bring up this page here and we can check to see if there's pending orders paid orders and completed orders now the difference between those three is as if the pending if a, a product has been purchased or a service has been purchased it'll go automatically into the pending orders and if they used a um, online payment it will automatically go from pending to paid if they've made a payment um, you will need to manually do this if it's an offline payment and you have need to process that payment through a bank account or, or uh, you know cash checks etc um, so and the paid paid orders are just a holding place for um, services or products that a customer has paid for but have not been sent out yet and once the product has or well, service has been um, sent out you can then complete the order and it'll display under the completed orders so now we under here we've got a completed order and we can click on it and view the details and you can see that there was a product of quantity of two and sold for this for per item and the total price was that You'll see that there's a couple of links uh, buttons down here, and they are the functions for updating the order. So if you click on paid and complete and save those, it will um, update the status of the of the um, order and put it in there automatically for you. If you've clicked uh, click completed, it will automatically add the price to the dashboard on the front page to show you the total amount that the shop has, has successfully sold. So that's how you add categories and products and view orders that are pending, paid and completed. In the next video tutorial I will show you how to add options and attributes and um, vouchers and postal regions.